All right, hi guys, this is a pad holding drill just to show you the importance of the bounce effect. So there are some that are not quite catching the idea of the resistance and the amount of leverage from the forearm to elbow. So I'm gonna show you a quick drill that we normally do when we're live on a course that you guys are not able to do because you're not with us. Um, so just do try this drill, um, have a little look and then you can feel and see the importance and get some feedback from your boxer so you can feel and identify the importance of the bounce effect that we kind of bang on about. I've got my trusty husband in to help me. Okay. So what I want you to do is set up as you would normally, and the first uh, 10 seconds, I just want you to be in position and then hold like a solid brick wall. Your boxer is then just gonna throw these punches and you'll see that I'm not actually moving, yeah? And then I want you to start pushing into the shots and you'll see that I'm extending through the arms, yeah? Extending through the arms and just holding like a brick wall, okay? That feels like there's a lot of resistance going through the knuckles and the wrists. Yeah, next one, I'm gonna hold my pads again in that same position, elbows in front of the shoulders, but I'm gonna rest. I'm not gonna have any resistance. So I'm a target, but I'm not really doing much. I'm just being a target. I'm not creating any resistance, any bounce effect. And for the boxer, it feels like, because there's no resistance and no feedback, it feels like they can punch through the pad. And what you'll find is the boxer will continue to hunt for those shots and potentially push you back. That's the second one with no resistance. The third one, if you listen closely. You can see now that I'm using the resistance. So 25% distance. Three, two, one. You can feel and hear the resistance. So using the techniques and the bounce effect by catching the punches with a moving pad is where it's at, okay? So please remember, we're not holding flat pads that, and increasing tension in our bodies because you will wear out. And also that will create too much tension for your boxer. We're not just creating a target with relaxed pads. We're moving and catching the punches like a high five. Yeah, as soon as there's contact made, you bounce back off of the shot. <coughs> so just one more time. We're seeing a little bit too much resistance. Pushing against, you can see my body, yeah? I'm not moving at all, I'm pushing into. What we want is a fluid pad. You can hear the difference from this, this, to this. All right, thank you. Okay, so you can hear the difference, making sure that you've got a nice moving, moving pad with 25% resistance, leverage from the elbow only. Relax your shoulders and start to dance a little bit. Try that drill quite often. So, you, And there's also, it's really good for you to try it with your clients when you get into class as well. It really shows the importance of the bounce effect.